Hi. Hi. Uh, now, uh, now that we have seen how a uh, stored procedure is created, as I mean, a simple stored procedure is created. Uh, now, what we are going to do is uh, to create a stored procedure which accepts a parameter from the user. Okay. So, what we are going to do now is just uh, declare a variable. Okay. We can say state care. I mean, uh, the data type is uh, care and uh, the data word would be two okay this is the uh, this is the variable here okay and what we and what we can do is that and by the way the state i mean the variable in stored procedure always uh, starts always begins with the at the rate uh, sign okay and then we can say here i mean uh, we, we don't want to just uh, type the we don't want to hard code the uh, 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 the condition here okay what we want here is replace this one with the variable that we just we have just uh, created we can say like this okay so whatever the value is passed is gonna be passed here and then the calculation will uh, follow on with that we can name this one as uh, params count state params okay this is just a name that I've given okay now we are what we'll do is that we'll just check for the errors if there are no errors okay fine now we'll just execute this one it has been executed which means a stored procedure with the with the name count state params with the parameter state has been created okay now what do we do we just copy this one paste this one here and then instead of executing this one what do we need to do yes we need to provide this one a parameter list okay we can say CA for example and uh, let's try to run this and let's see, uh, let's see if uh, what we uh, get yes there are three authors uh, living in uh, state California now let's check for the Tennessee let's see uh, how many results do we get back we need to select this one first there's only one person staying in Tennessee okay this is just a small demonstration showing you how to create stored procedures with the uh, with the parameter list so uh, I'm going to show you how uh, how we can uh, dynamically pass stored procedures from vb.net application so join me in my in, in, the, in the next video where I'll be showing you exactly how it is done thank you very much for watching this video my name is Aftab